18. Oh. Out of this house. Hi, hello. How are you? It's me, your boy, Tick. Hi. Now you're probably wondering, what's this commentary about? You're an animator. You don't do commentary. Well, let me tell you. It's about what happened in 2017. What happened to me? What happened to my channel? And what's it for the future? First, we're going to go back to 2017 and what my favorite videos were, and I hope you like them as much as I do. Teach Space Wonder has been mine since 2016. The idea came to me while I was listening to Chill from the Undertale soundtrack. I'll play a clip here. The reason I waited so long is I wanted to wait until I was good enough at animating. Because back then, even when I made the trailer, I wasn't that good. So I waited to fall of 2017, which is around when I posted the first episode. In short, I waited long enough until I was good enough to do it justice. Though I do have a lot of regrets even with the first episode, like I could have added breathing for example. Now that I have learned more, episode 2 will be probably a lot better than the first one. And while on topic of these episodes, I should let you know, each episode should roughly be around 7-6 minutes, around that. And there will be at least 6-7 to seven episodes in total. Peculiar Ape Housing. This was for the Collaboration Collab by Camouflage. He's a really cool dude, you should go check him out. I worked on this with another very, very good G-modder known as Lil Scorpion. You should, you should go check him out too, he's a pretty good guy. We came up with the idea from Spy vs. Spy, which is an old cartoon from the show Mad. It's, uh, it's Tom and Jerry with a lot of bombs. One spy blows up the other, then the other one retaliates. Working on a video with another person was nice. It relieved some of the stress of having to do every scene, as well as you got a cooler looking product out of it. His parts were very good looking. And mine, I'd say, were okay, I guess. It turned out... A great video and I'd love to do something like that again. Mystery of the Lost Cave. This is my first collab I hosted so far. It's about a blue scout, a red heavy, and a blue engineer exploring a lost cave. It was hosted by me in May and ended around July. I like it so much because I love the theme of glowing caves and I kind of wanted to share that with other people and when I got entries showing off the creativity they did with it, I was very, very pleased. So, thank you for those of you that entered. All your entries are great, and I hope you keep doing good work. And finally, The Magnificent Estudiano. This video is rather new, and I'd say I'm pretty proud of it. Not only do I think the animation is better, it was a tribute to my Spanish family. So there are a few references to uh, Estudiano culture in there, so if you're from that area, you may pick something up there. I do admit it probably could have been longer, though the day I finished it was the day I flew back and I wanted to finish it while it was still technically in Spain, otherwise it would have been kind of nullified. In 2017, the only big projects I finished is the aforementioned Deep Space Wanderer Episode 1. Though I started work on a prequel called The True and the Deceived, alongside having its own story, it also explains some of the events of Deep Space Wanderer. This prequel is planned to have no restrictions on the amount of horror, blood, and overall gore in it, so it's not for the faint of heart. The other project I've started is a holiday video featuring the staff of a Gmod group I'm in, alongside some of the other members. Boy, 2017 was uh, quite the year my channel got places, and that's really all thanks to you, you know, cliche YouTuber thing, but yeah, thank you for this amazing channel growth. I did really get a boost when I uh, posted Slap, my entry to the What's in the Box <laughs> collab by You Got a Phone Number. I really want to start Team Fortress 2 videos, Borderlands 2 videos. 
as I was saying, Borderlands 2 videos, and whatever game I feel like posting. I really want to branch out there more, so I don't have to drive myself mad looking at a tool gun and physics gun 24-7. 2017 was a great year for me in basically every aspect. Hey, I even traveled to Spain, something I never thought I'd do in a thousand years. I learned a lot of things in terms of animating and just overall. I learned a lot of Spanish, so. And I've seen a bunch more things than I can count. I've seen castles in Ireland as well. I've seen, I've seen a lot of things. Just overall, it was a great year, and I'm happy to see what this year holds, and yeah. So thank you for sticking with me throughout 2017. I never thought I would uh, get this far already. Sounds like my 1,000th video, which, which, oh god, I, recording the 1,000th video was not fun. Just, you'll see, you'll see why. I, I did in Spain because there was a uh, thing there, a challenge, a horrible food that I challenged myself to eat for a 1,000. I tweeted about it, so you'll see. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for 2017. It's a great year. I hope I see you this year, next year, many years to come. So, thank you. See ya.